when we talk to, whether we're talking to a borrower, whether we're talking to a referral source, an intermediary, intermediary like a, a broker, we try to make that point. This only works if it works for everybody. It can't just be for us. We're not going to put somebody behind the eight ball. We don't want them to fail. We're not looking to just make a loan. We want the borrower to be successful. So, again, going back to what I said earlier, this isn't that difficult in terms of what we do. So, you, Mr. Brower, when you put your business plan together and you're telling me you want to borrow or $300,000, a million dollars, you have to put your best foot forward. You want to be able to tell me how much you want to borrow or, so to speak, what it's going to be used for. But more importantly, tell me about your business. Who, what, where, when, and how. What do you do? Who's your competition? Where are you located? Why is this business going to be successful? Why are your customers going to buy from you versus somebody else? What kind of competition do you have? What's your degree of involvement in the business? Most importantly, what's your skill set that you bring to this business? Um, and and then, then, once you get through all that, then you can say, okay, here's the financial projections, or here's my financial performance, here's what I've done historically, and here's what I'm going to do going forward. Tell me what the financial ramifications of a management decision. You know, maybe you're going to, you've, you've operated out of your house, now you're going to go out and buy a building and expand your business. Well, how is, how, how is that decision going to generate more business for you? Explain that to me. Convince me, convince me that you have your finger on the pulse as to why you're making this decision and what's the financial ramifications of that decision. Then we can talk about collateral. We're not talking about collateral at the very beginning, like at the very end of the discussion. Because by the time we get to here, you should have already convinced me. So, yes, you can tweak that business plan, but don't, don't just send in something that's three paragraphs. You don't want to take shortcuts. This is, your, this is your best time to make a good first impression. Because if you take shortcuts and you just, you know, give me the money because I know I'm going to be successful, that tells me you don't have the, the determination, the drive, to have your finger on the pulse. An example I'll give you is, I'm looking at a business plan recently, and we asked the borrower, where did you come up with your labor expense? And their answer was, well, that's what the franchisor told me it is. It's 28% of my gross revenue. Well, wait a minute, this is your business. Don't you want, don't you want to be able to tell me that you are gonna have five employees in, in these different roles at this hourly wage. So here's what my daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually payroll is gonna be. I would think I would wanna know that if this is gonna be my business. I'm not gonna take somebody else's word for it. Just like when it comes to the insurance costs, I'm gonna call my insurance agent and get a quote and find out when do I have to pay that insurance? Do I have to prepay it for the year? Or is it something I can pay on a quarterly basis? Because I wanna know from a cash flow standpoint when I have to pay these types of bills. Um, so when I say it has to work for everybody, yes, you want to convince me, but more importantly, you want to convince yourself. This is your business. You're the entrepreneur. You've got to convince yourself you're going to be successful. Then you want to come to me or whether you come to me, whether you go to your parents to borrow the money. You have a sound business plan that says, here's what I want to use the money for, and here's how I'm going to pay it back, and to make sure there's a little surplus there in case things go, um, you know, you stub your toe along the way. Yeah. Yeah. But it's an education process. It's a it's a back and forth. Um, and boy, I, you, you, you could, that's the part of the business that I love. I love talking to, to borrowers and getting them to understand what we need and why we need it. Or, and why they need it. And a lot of times it's not that they don't have the answers to those questions. It's not that they don't have the desire to put that information together. They just don't know where to start. You know, maybe they, they've had this thing in their in their head that they want to open a food truck or maybe a, you know some other type of business. So they just need some, some structure and some, some direction how to put this information together.